Today is Food for Thought comes from the 7th chapter of Romans, verse 7 and 24, which reads, What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Certainly not. On the contrary, I would not have known sin except through the law. For I would not have known covetousness unless the law had said, You shall not covet. O wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? I spoke on these two verses within my most recent Bible study, and I wanted to speak on these two verses with all of you today for my food for thought as we continue to celebrate God giving the world his only begotten son. Christ, we should understand, was given to the world because of God's love for us, mankind, and because the Lord has a he has a great desire to dwell with us. Now, at first, the Lord, he put his word on stone tablets with the hope that his law would abide in the hearts of those whom he had chosen. But sadly, the children of Israel, they were unable to keep the law. And for that fact, no person, I want you to understand today, is able to keep the entirety of God's law. God's law, it points out our inability to keep the law and that we need help if we truly desire to become holy, if we truly desire to become righteous. This is where Christ enters in. Christ, he was given to the world so that you and I, all of us who desire to be holy, righteous, and inherit God's kingdom can be able to do so. You see, with the law, we know that we are sinners, but with Christ, we know that there is compassion. That is, there's God's mercy, his grace, his forgiveness, his, his salvation for us. You see, the beauty of this season is the fact that we celebrate what God has given to us. What is it that the Lord has given to us? He has given all of us an opportunity at inheriting everlasting peace and joy. I don't know about you, but I crave that everlasting peace and joy. I need Christ so that I can attain it. And what I want you to know today is that you need Christ as well so that you can be able to attain that holiness and righteousness, that peace and that everlasting joy. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next food for thought.